special place called the sacristy. This is where the people who prepare communion come to prepare our communion each time we have it. Uh, that reminds me, we haven't had communion together in a long time, have we? No, we haven't. Maybe someday soon we'll get to have it. But in the meantime, visualize this with me. A special string that connects us all together, even when we can't be together. And I visualize communion. That kind of connects us together. Even if we can't take communion, we can't have communion, it still connects us together because we've had it together before. And that reminds me of our book today, The Invisible String. This is about a string that's invisible that connects us all together. Where does the string go? How far can it reach? Who does it reach to? All that will be answered in this book. The book is by Patricia Karst and it is illustrated by Jeff S. Stevenson. I hope you enjoy it. Liza and Jeremy, the twins, were asleep one calm and quiet night. Suddenly it began to rain very hard. Thunder rumbled until it got so loud that it woke them up. Mommy, mommy, they cried as they ran to her. Don't worry, you two. It's just the storm making all that noise. Go on back to bed. We want to stay close to you, said Jeremy. We're scared. Mom said, you know we're always together, no matter what. But how can we be together when you're out here and we're in bed, said Liza. Mom held something right in front of them and said, this is how. Rubbing their sleepy eyes, the twins came closer to see what Mom was holding. I was about your age when my mommy first told me about the invisible string. I don't see a string, said Jeremy. You don't need to see the invisible string. People who love each other are always connected in a very special way, with string made of love. But if you can't see it, how do you know it's there, asked Liza. Even though you can't see it with your eyes, you can feel it with your heart, and you know that you're always connected to everyone you love. When you're at school and you miss me, your love travels all the way along the string until I feel it tug on my heart. And when you tug it right back, we feel it in our hearts, said Jeremy. Does Jasper the cat have an invisible string, Liza asked. She sure does, said Mom. And best friends, like me and Lucy, asked Liza. Best friends too. How far can the string reach? Anywhere and everywhere, Mom said. Would it reach me, even if I were a submarine captain deep in the ocean, asked Jeremy. Yes, Mom said, even there. Or a mountain climber? Even there. A ballerina in France? Even there. A jungle explorer? Even there. How about an astronaut out in space? Yes, even there. Then Jeremy quietly asked, can my string reach all the way to Uncle Brian in heaven? Yes, even there. Does the string go away when you're mad at us? Never, said Mom. Love is stronger than anger. And as long as love is in your heart, the string will always be there. Even when you get older and you can't agree about things like what movies to see, or who gets to ride in the front seat, or what time to go to bed. Oh, that's right. You two should be in bed. And with that, they all laughed as mom chased the twins back to their beds. Within a few minutes, they were asleep 
even though the storm was still making the same noises outside. As they slept, they started dreaming of all the invisible strings they have and all the strings their friends have and their friends have and their friends have until everyone in the world was connected by invisible strings. And from deep inside, they could clearly see no one is ever alone. That was really great. It reminds us we're never alone. We are all connected, even if it's by an invisible string. If that's what it takes to help you rem to remind you that we are all connected, think of the invisible string. And even reaches, it even reaches up to people that have gone before us all the way up to heaven. Speaking of that, what a beautiful, beautiful ceiling in this place. Well, I hope you enjoyed our book, and I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.